The Medic's Optimus all-electric steering system is installed on my boat, this 22-foot Cobia center console with a Yamaha 150 four-stroke outboard. The system was pretty easy to install. Uh, it took me about six and a half hours to get it installed, and the results are really quite impressive. I've now run the boat for about 50 hours of operation with the new steering system in place. I haven't experienced a single hiccup yet, and uh, really pleased with the way that it's improved the overall handling of the boat. So when I flick the switch on, the first thing that happens is the display will light up. I hear a click coming from the uh, outboard, excuse me, from the steering ram on the outboard itself. That's uh, letting, that's the mechanical lock disengaging on the ram. And we're basically ready to go. I'm gonna hit okay to accept the uh, standard legalese disclaimer. With that done, I my display is showing that the outboard is sitting at negative six degrees, so a six degree turn to port, zero RPMs because the engine's not running. And now if I take my helm over, the motor moves all the way over to the 30 degree stop. When, uh, when I hit that stop, the, the wheel stops turning. Uh, but it's an interesting thing because there's not actually a physical stop in there. What I'm hitting is an electromagnet that's uh, stopping me from turning any further and letting me know I've come to the end of the travel. I can go back the other way and four turns lock to lock and I'll encounter the stop on the other end. The faster I go as I get up to speed, the response of the steering is going to change. So instead of four turns lock to lock, it's going to move out to six turns lock to lock so that I have a little bit more precise steering at higher speed. It's also going to increase the effort of the, the wheel to turn uh, in order to ensure that, you know, it, uh, the corrections are intentional and that the wheel has the right feel as you start moving quicker. Uh, all that's done despite the fact that all that connects the, the helm unit to the outboard and to the ram is uh, a CAN bus cable, actually a couple of CAN bus cables. So that's all happening electronically and then the display is going to show what's happening as well. We'll go ahead and fire up the engine. Engine's running. Uh, the display the Dometic uh, Optimus display is getting engine speed from the NEMA 2000 network, where my engine is also connected. And with that, uh, I, I'm ready to go. So again, see that travel all the way there. It's quite quick. Go hard over either direction, basically as fast as I can turn the wheel. Uh, and away we go. The one other thing I was curious about when I uh, installed this was how much power the actual unit was going to consume and so I went ahead and installed a uh, an amp meter and a voltmeter uh, directly to the power drop for the uh, actuator itself and so let's take a look at what we're seeing there and so as I turn we can see the the, the power consumption go up uh, obviously right now the boat's standing still so uh, in heavy seas we might see a little bit more power consumption but what I've definitely observed is that power consumption is really not a problem. Uh, it's very limited amounts of time that the RAM or the actuator is actually drawing at all. And when it is drawing, it's typically in the six to eight amp neighborhood. Uh, and that's just a momentary draw of the battery, the alternator, even on this relatively small 150 horse outboard with about a 35 amp alternator, has no troubles keeping up, keeping the batteries charged and the voltages uh, about where they should be. So. Um, Really, I've had no problems at all with power consumption. The steering has been very reliable. Uh, it's far more precise than the uh, hydraulic steering that I replaced. So overall, my, I, I'm really happy with the, the way that it's uh, improved the handling of the boat and very pleased thus far with the reliability from it. I'm gonna keep running it and uh, keep, we'll report back if I have any issues or experience any failures, but so far it's been flawless.